No, we can't. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. Enough, Earther. Give us the bow. How dare you! I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You're... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon. Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire. Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my blood to come along. Well, too bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. What trickery is this? Where'd you come from? Sir, the deed has been done. The restoration of this way shrine means that Bertha must be dead, and the betrayed no longer have control over him. What? What are you talking about? A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow or obtain some hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy. But to ask. Please take the bow. It's yours. I feel nothing but sympathy for the betrayed, despite my actions against them. But I'm afraid that they're well beyond a cure at this point. The twisted forms you've seen didn't occur overnight. It isn't a plague or a disease that ravaged our species. The dwarves may have stolen their sight, but it took many generations for them to become what they are today. Perhaps they'll never return to their former appearance. But over the centuries, I've noticed a rise in their intellect. If a line of communication could be established with them, maybe they can find peace. It's the only way they'll discover that they weren't always malignant. They were once a proud and prosperous race. Farewell, friend. May the warmth of Oriel provide you strength. It's... not as shiny as I was expecting. Still, it's beautiful. I think we both know. It's time to face my father. If we don't, he'll keep chasing us for the rest of our lives. 
I've been thinking about this for a long time. It's... It's not easy. But I don't think we have much of a choice. No. This has to end here and now. If we head back to the castle and kick the front door in, we're gonna be knee-deep in his friends. Let's head back to Isran and let him see what we've got first. I'm betting he'll lend us a sword or two. Yes? It sounds like... That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Sure... Do you have any arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. <laughs> 